Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna set up Note Station on my Synology NAS, all right? So, the first thing we wanna do is open up your Synology NAS, log in, and we're gonna to go to the Package Center. Okay, and then from here, scroll down, and we're gonna look for Note Station. And we'll click on the Install button. And while that's installing, let me go ahead and show you a couple other things. So we'll minimize that. But um, first thing we want to do is take a look at the download center for Synology. So I'll link this down below. Here is the NoteStation client. It works on Windows, Mac, Fedora, Ubuntu. So you can download the version that you want. I've already downloaded my 64-bit version of Windows and installed it on here as well. So we'll open that up a little later. Let's go back to our NAS here. And let's go to Control Panel. So what we want to do now is create a user. So let's go ahead and make a user. I have a few users here and if you need to edit it, you can always just click on your user and edit. But I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to name this one test. The password is going to be whatever I want it to be. And it's a weak password. I try retyping this. That's fine for now. We're going to click Next. We're going to keep this as default. I just want this to be a, a normal user. We don't need to add any permissions here for any of these folders. This person's just going to be using NodeStation. We'll click Next. We'll then click Next on here. And this is where we need to add them uh, Allow permission. So NodeStation is right here. I'm going to check Allow and then click Next. We'll also click next on this, leave that all default. And then this is just to apply. Right, so in here is your Quick Connect. What you wanna do is then enable your Quick Connect. Uh, mine's already enabled. It already has a Quick Connect ID that I'm gonna be using to connect to my NAS. And if you guys need to create one, just go to quickconnect.to and you should be able to create your own account with Synology. Uh, this should allow for remote access to your Synology uh, as well as the applications to use that link. All right, so now, I'm going to go ahead and open up the package center again, make sure it's installed. Let's just take a look. Where did it go? It's probably under my installed packages. Let's see. And there it is. So it is installed. You can run it from here. You can open it up and it will launch you into the node station. But because I'm logged in as the admin, it's going to pull up the admin. Because I'm logged in as the admin, it will pull up the admin note station. So we don't want that. Let's go ahead and minimize this. We're going to double click on note station. And here we are. So now after note station has been installed, I'm going to go ahead and type in the quick connect ID, the username that we just created, our password. I like to check HTTPS to make sure it's secure and click login. And now that we're logged in, uh, you can go ahead and create your notes. So let's do a create. Here's our note. You can add tags. Let's go ahead and expand this a little bit. You can add tags. You can make, make the name of this note. And that's that. So they do have applications for iPhone and Android as well. It's called DS Note and it would be the exact same credentials. You'd type in your Quick Connect ID, type in your username and password, and that's pretty much it. It's a pretty nice application. It does well for notes. I don't personally use it, but it is out there for anyone that wants to have all of their notes on their Synology instead of it being up in the cloud. All right, guys, well, now that wraps it up. If you guys have any questions, please put them down in the comments, like, and subscribe, and take care.